Good morning, welcome to Canning with Kate. I am Kate and I am actually going to be doing something that is not canning related. Um, I have been doing a lot of kefir shakes and my kids love them and so we have my lovely helper here, our daughter, um, and she is going to show us how to make a strawberry kefir shake, which three of my kids love and then the other son loves a peanut butter and apple shake with only kefir so I don't mix it with any other milks I don't dilute it with water or anything so I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, first this is the kefir that I have been uh, fermenting and you can see from here that it is very very much ready to be strained and used so this was actually only um, started last night and so these grains are super super duper um, active and I may also have a little too many so if it happens that your kefir um, ferments very very quickly like in less than 12 hours then it's either possible that your kitchen is very warm and that will speed up the fermentation or you have too many grains in your kefir and neither one is horrible it just means that you're gonna have to watch sorry I have an itchy nose um, you're gonna have to watch it a little bit quicker and make sure that you uh, strain the grains faster all right so let's get started all right um, Mommy, what should we do first so this is the kefir that I have had in the fridge um, you can tell that it's thicker than milk because of the kefir that just kind of sits on the sides and so I'm going to pour in two cups of kefir for three kids. So guess what we are going to do first, mm -hmm. That's not very much. <laughs> so I just put two cups into my blender directly. Um, Mommy, I was almost up to this. Yeah. I do a splash of vanilla. Okay, now the sweetener you can use sugar or you can use oh that's too much okay or you can use a different sweetener of your choice i would not use honey because oh, honey no. is um like anti bacterial and this is a live organism so I would not use honey in it but you can use um, any other type of sweetener or sugar that you like all right now my daughter loves to add cherries so we're gonna add cherries to this and I'm I do I do about half a cup of each, so total is about one cup of frozen fruit. Okay. Okay, now with these strawberries, mm -hmm. and those are cold. Mm -hmm. Because that just got my shoulder. It, it touched so, your shoulder? Yes, it was so cold. Okay. No. They're in the fridge. <laughs> Okay, so we have two cups of kefir. Um, I do fat-free kefir or fat-free milk. Okay, and then I do one cup of frozen fruit. You can do any frozen fruit that you like. Um, and then sweetener, so I did two, two tiny dukes of stevia and then a splash of vanilla. And we'll blend it up. Okay, all right, so now we're going to get the glasses. Did you some? I did see you. All right, this is something that the kids really, really enjoy. Um, if I don't make that them a shake mine. every day, they're asking me why I didn't give them a shake every day. So this has become a wonderful little... Um, 
treat and I feel good about it because I know that the kids are getting good probiotics and oh, it what is, is that? great for their gut. All right, so this is to my this is mine. sons. This is mine. And my daughter. Oh. Okay. Mommy, mommy, so, mommy. Careful. Mommy, All right. mommy, don't make any uh, apple and put the bubble shake without me because I'm going to get lost. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do my second shake. I'm going to rinse this out and we'll get started on that in just a second. Okay, so I have rinsed out my uh, container. Strawberry. Now, normally I would do another two cups, but my husband is not here at the moment, so he's not getting a shake. So I'm going to just put this in half, one cup. That's not bad. And for the apple shake, I do, for half an apple shake, I do I'm half an apple. apple. Okay. For this one, I only do one scoop of stevia. Not many, like a, a strawberry one. Right. Hey, All right. And then... For two shakes, I would do a good sized tablespoon of peanut butter, but again, this is a smaller shake, so I'm just going to do a good sized teaspoon. Get down, Dale. <laughs> you Get could down also Dale. use almond butter, I am sure. Um, you could even add like caramel extract and have like a, apple. a caramel apple shake, which sounds really good to me. All right, now for this one, because I'm not using frozen fruit, I am going to put a few ice cubes in there to make it cold and a little bit chunky. Yes. All right. That's probably okay because that's your brother who's going to drink it. <laughs> All right. Now we're just going to blend that up. this time? No. Yay! Right. Same time for daddy. Well, he can get a fresh one. Alright, so this is the apple and peanut butter shake. Now, um... Where will we'll get yours? I'm coming. Give me a second. Also, with the shakes, it has been noticed by my kids that they do sleep better. So, for me, as a parent, that is like a huge benefit because if you have trouble getting your kids to go to sleep, I mean, that's that's tough because everybody wakes up grumpy. You don't get your sleep. So this has really helped my kids with their sleep. It helps me. I make sure that um, even if it's been busy, I don't get the kids' shakes made um, during the day. I make sure I get mine because it has helped me with my sleep so, so much. Um, I can tell such a huge difference. I've no longer had to take um, the magnesium. I've no longer had to take um, extra um, sleeping aids. I just take the kefir. And then one other thing with the kefir is it is a probiotic. So it does uh, build up your healthy gut bacteria. But if you don't feed the kefir with Mommy, prebiotics. This is so good. Go ahead with prebiotics, then the probiotics from the kefir are not going to grow. So make sure that you get your prebiotics on this too, which in our case, we get the leafy greens and vegetables and everything in our diets a lot more than I ever used to, which is great. So 
I encourage you to go ahead and try making kefir. You can certainly do this with store-bought kefir, but if you can get kefir grains, I do have another video on how to make homemade kefir. Um, so look for that and you can make your homemade kefir and it is so much better. It has so many more. Um, I have to see and I will have to help you. So much more good stuff in it um, than the store-bought, but you can certainly do the store-bought. Um, and it's so easy. Like, there's no reason not to. Uh, okay, so make your kefir and enjoy it. Put Bye. whatever Put whatever you want in it and Bye. make it a great shake. Bye. Have a, have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have Bye. a great day.